Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove, hopefully without damaging them, the foil cowls or foil decals from a pair of vintage JBLs, in this case the L100. I've done this a lot of times. So far I've been lucky, but you have to be very gentle and patient with it. The tool I'm going to use, tools, are a three inch thin flexible putty knife from Home Depot and you can see this one's very, very thin. Uh, and a hair dryer. And the reason I'm removing these foil cowls is not only to repaint the baffle or front panel of the loudspeaker, but also to recap or replace the capacitors, which are on a board that's screwed right behind this foil cowl. And the only way to remove that board so you can do a good job on recapping them is to unscrew some screws that are covered by the foil cowl. So what you wanna do is heat up the foil cowl enough that the adhesive underneath it, which is, I believe, contact cement, will liquefy slightly, and then very gently work the uh, putty knife underneath the edge of the foil cowl, working your way gradually around until you can remove it without creasing it. If you crease it, this is a thin metal plate, I believe it's aluminum. If you crease it, you will never get that crease out. It's, as far as I know, it's impossible. So here it goes. I've got a hair dryer, not a, a heat gun, because a heat gun would probably blister the paint and ru ruin the foil cowl on any kind of heat setting. So. I'm just putting on a regular old hair dryer, highest uh, volume of air and the highest heat. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit and then I'm gonna remove the foil cowl. Sometimes you'll find that the foil cowl is already coming up a little bit. The adhesive has already started to uh, lose its grip even before you start heating it up. In this case, this foil cowl seems to be pretty solid. I'm just gonna gently probe with a putty knife and try and find a loose corner or edge. So this one doesn't have a loose edge, so what I'm going to do is get a razor blade under one of the corners. At this point, you want the blade to be flat against the baffle. You don't want to be bending the foil cowl more than you have to. At this point, you can see I'm up to these L-pad controls, the lower output level control for the driver. That's the tweeter L-pad. I'm going to kind of work around that. I don't want to get the corner of my putty knife stuck in the uh, opposite side of the hole. You can see I'm starting to damage the paint here. I haven't, maybe it was already there. I'll have to review the video, but no, it looks like it was there already. I'm planning to repaint these baffles anyway. But normally I don't see a lot of damage from this kind of work on the baffle paint. However, if you are, if you're not planning to repaint them, I would mask around the edge very closely. It just may make it more difficult to get uh, the knife under the edge of the foil cowl. This metal is so soft you can actually see it bulging and deforming slightly as the blade goes under it. But it should be fine when you glue it back on again. This one's a little tricky because the edge of the baffle is raised so it tends to deflect the knife a little. You have to be careful the corner of the blade doesn't stick under the corner of the hole and, or the edge of the hole and bend it. I'm in the home stretch. I want to slow down here so it doesn't fall off. I'm going to put down the hair dryer and just gently work this so it comes off. Now you can see this doesn't have any creases in it. It should glue down fine. What I'll do is take some acetone, careful not to get it on the paint in front, but it shouldn't damage it, at least in my experience. Uh, I believe I've used acetone or turpentine in the past. Be careful and, and do a little testing first. But I believe it's acetone will take this adhesive off the back gently with a 
microfiber cloth, you can kind of clean the adhesive off the back. You can also do the same on the adhesive on the baffle. It'll mostly just rub off with your fingers. That's contact cement again, I believe. And now you can see the foil cal screw that was hidden. Uh, maybe both of these were hidden by the foil cal. Actually, it was just the one screw. So these are the other three. And then uh, when you wanna reattach this, what I do is I use masking tape to define the edges of where it's gonna go using the L-pad center points as references. And then I mask off or wrap plastic painters, uh, plastic around the rest of the speaker. Uh, I take the foil cow and lay it on top of the painter's plastic. And then I use spray adhesive. I use a 3M product. Last time I, I used this uh, 3M90 spray adhesive. I sprayed it on the back of the foil cowl, on the front of the baffle, masked off, and then I let it dry for about five minutes till it got tacky per the can instructions. And then I, starting on one masked edge, I gently put the foil cowl back down. I can usually flatten it out a bit before I do that. I just very gently sort of give it a little reverse flex and try and flatten it out a little bit. And that should adhere it just as it was new when you get it back on again. And uh, I hope that was helpful. Thanks.